And hello all. How's it going? Now this is the VIP stream. So welcome everybody, Twitchy Tuesday, Sam Morgan here. Just getting started. Haven't really played much warm up or anything today, so I'm gonna Go ahead and find something to do to get settled in here. Uh, yeah, I'll go house P as usual.
<laughs> actually, do I? Yeah, I actually have loot as such. So for anybody who didn't get a Mimic companion, I went ahead and constructed a couple extras to serve as giveaways on stream. Not sure how I'm going to be doing that yet, but uh, that's the plan anyway, because I really want them out of my bank. They do not stack. So I do want to get rid of at least some of them fairly shortly. Um, so sometime then I'll be giving away some of those. I'm sure those of you who really wanted it already have them, but uh, if somebody doesn't, you know. Fun little gift. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to do. This thing is how my DDO doesn't exist anymore, and I keep getting lots of requests about uh, my gear and character build. I went ahead and played around and got something up and running. It's not pretty yet, or as pretty as I'd like, I should say. Uh, I did polish the uh, image maps a little bit, but haven't gotten around to polishing the HTML surrounding it yet. Anyway, I put that URL up there. If you have any questions about my build, my most of my usual uh, gear. There you go. Should give you a pretty decent idea of what's going on with this particular character. Of course, I have to repeat for other characters, and it's not a quick process. I had a screenshot. Everything individually. Um, it's a lot of screenshots. You don't quite realize how much gear you have until you try to screenshot it all. I'd like to improve the interface a little bit so that the image maps are more of rollovers rather than having to click to see the gear, but it works for now. Hopefully, it heads off some questions. These archers have signal crystals attached on top. Are they simply decorative? With House Fjallin, run. Though you can see the rest of Stormreach through the skylight. Other than that, House of Brady tonight. Hopefully, you've had good loot in your DDO playing over the weekend and week. Farm lots of mimics. I really didn't farm that much um, over the weekend. I thought I might, but I just ended up not feeling of farming that much. So, uh, yeah. I've got some moats left over for next time the event runs, and I uh, have a bunch of cards just saying they're probably not very useful. Yeah, I kind of wanted something like my DDO, but that I could actually control. Obviously, there's no automation there, it's all manual, so. It's manual screenshots and cropping, which took a while. But, you know, HTML is pretty simple. Uh, found the utility to do the image mapping, so that wasn't that hard. All in all, not a big deal uh, to get it set up. Just some patience with the screenshots. And managing all the files. I figured screenshotting was the easiest, most accurate way to get exactly what I had, rather than having to find the exact version that I have linked on Wiki or some other some other way. Just put them up myself. Be easier. So yeah. Yeah, I thought about doing a newfangled CSS or HTML5 way of doing it, but I went back to just doing the easy way. Image maps are known, easy to work with, and uh, the real value using the utility I did, which is just an online utility like imagemaps.com or something like that, is that uh, that gives you all the coordinates, so if you do plug it into something else, you've already got the coordinates set for the image maps to work, however you do that, whether this is through jQuery or pure HTML5 or CSS or whatever. You still need the coordinates, so. Yeah. 
and run off. I haven't d done too much pure HMI 5 stuff. I'm kind of out of that arena for a while. So I go with what I know already. I did learn a little bit more about working with image maps. I haven't done an image map in years, so that was interesting. Looked up some alternate ways to do it. The CSS seems really easy way to do it. Anyway, the effects there. I'm not about to go do the rest of the, like, all the enhancements or destinies or something, but um, I figure that's easy enough for people to look up on their own. The core thing was just to show what I had. I don't know if that answered a lot of questions. But you still need to enter the chapter house and stop the I could make it more adaptable and have uh, a database and character names and all that stuff in there, but for now, it works. I mean, I even did the generic text for the character sheet, which I really didn't need to do. Hey, Mist, how's it going? I see. Awful, how's that going? <laughs> the Fialan chapter house must have been closed. Let's see. Oh, Dukhazra is in there. Is on the far side of the chapter house, and it seems rather unlikely that House Fialan simply Elrvan, Cordovan. Next to the security gates, a large dragon mark of shadow is embedded in All right, see you, Cordovan. Thanks. If it were to activate, you would not be able to destroy it as you did with the marks in the Yeah, I've seen some things on HTML5. I just haven't gotten into it. The chapter terribly far so. stage plays for Fialan's elite patrons it looks like its shows are on hold during the grand gala I mostly use HTML4 dot whatever whatever the correct syntax is for all those validation checkers 401 transitional XML blah 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 stuff Hey, Titan. How am I supposed to pronounce that? Mawful? Mawful? Yeah. I have a large fondness for PHP. I know a lot of people hate on it, but... The illusions in this display hall don't appear to be I enjoy PHP a whole lot. The they probably won't attack you. It's a lot of fun to work with. I did Pearl for a while and just did not care for Pearl. Actually, I have a job I'm looking at doing LAMP. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I had... A hard time conveying to somebody at work who was a offshore.net developer what he should be doing Ajax wise because he came from strict.net corporate style programming and Ajax was just not something he understood. So then he implemented Ajax but in a not Ajaxy way, if that makes sense. And it was really difficult to explain to him, no, you need to be using Ajax for what it can do for you, not just shoehorning your existing corporate programming style into using Ajax calls. You actually have to be using it in a more flexible way. That's what we intended, not just to say, hey, I'm using Ajax and call it good. So... So, for example, he would build an entire table on one Ajax call and then refresh the page and do the Ajax call again on the refresh to refill the table when things changed. Instead of what I asked for was basically taking the whole thing into the Ajax call and then when you 
made a change, you just made the Ajax call. You didn't refresh the page. <laughs> he just didn't didn't understand that. I wanted row level updating, and he couldn't seem to manage that. But yeah. Yeah, okay, there's a really nice job. That's a telecommuting job in Texas that's open. That's for a LAMP developer that I really want to do uh, in some ways because it fits the style of job that I want. However, I really don't want to be a full-time developer, so there's that. I'm more into testing than developing. So I think I've got my resume polished up and uh, had to create LinkedIn profile and all that fun stuff. We'll see. What becomes of all that? Is there anything, any such thing as a non-web language anymore, really? <laughs> yes, if I can get out of the whole dancing thing, that'd be awesome. Is that really lag that hard? Wow. Got some awesome lag going on. And if I could actually get my either of my healing things to actually fire so I don't die, that'd be awesome. This is seriously crippling lag here. I'm gonna die. Whew. Finally caught up to where I can heal. That was annoying. Much nicer without the flag. Yeah, I think I almost uh, was at zero hit points when that heal finally kicked in. And now I'm getting all these emails from LinkedIn from recruiters saying, hey, please add me to your LinkedIn network, which I guess is what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot of TRs missed. I'm still trying to debate whether I'm going to TR at all or not. Mm, yeah, I'll go ahead. 
ahead and do snitch. You get to doing these quests, and it's not necessarily boring. It's repetitive a bit, but it's more like I'm trying to relax by doing familiar content. I'm going to epic reincarnate Shaw for sure, but Thar I'm not sure what to do with. I think I'd really like to get the rest of the destinies capped off, or at least get Cocoon. That'd be the very least. So I can get stuff going. This is like, what, seven or eight epic-wise, but still first heroic. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm kind of planning ahead a little bit for in case I do actually TR of our probably just epic reincarnate and then that's the part I'm not sure about. Probably iconic and get up to Twenty again and do more grinding. I don't know. I really don't know what I want to do. Consider going Blade Forge. Keep being Sorcerer. I want the three Sorcerer heroic past lives. So that's kind of a given of what I want to do if I do that. Blade Forge makes a lot of sense to. Go with and angry squeals nearby. But I'm not sure what I actually want to do. Hey Murray, how's it going? But but what what about when Warlocks come out? Wouldn't you want to do Warlock Pass Lives, maybe? that Mari has joined the channel. <laughs> uh, that's funny how that happens. <laughs> Not a fan of Warlocks, huh? Everything I've read about him, I don't get the point. I really don't. They seem like a weird kind of monk. Basically a monk with a force blast. Or wizard monk force blast thing. I don't know. I didn't get anything out of what I've read about them. They didn't excite me at all. So we'll see what comes what happens when they come out. Kind of interesting things they bring. Your 
pursuit has led you out of Tanner's Alley and into a quieter, more prosperous neighborhood. Watchdogs dream peacefully in the sunshine below. If you're careful, you can catch up to Roderick Nettle and still let sleeping dogs live. Yep, Titan still hasn't dropped for me. Even in full parties on Epic Elite, it hasn't been dropping. I'm not really even worried about it anymore. If it comes, it comes. I still like the quest. familiar giggle can be heard in the next courtyard. It's time to deal with him once and for all. Oh, uh, plot. Waiting for the plot. So yeah, welcome to the people who didn't hear me earlier state that I do have some of the mundane Mimic certificates to give out that I got through farming the Mimic events over the past week or so. Um, I'll be planning to get some of those out on Thelanus in-game at some point to people who didn't get a chance to do much sure if any farming or didn't happen to get one to drop or whatever. If you already have one, then I'd rather you didn't take one. It's really meant to uh, be for people who missed out. And I do not have any other servers because, of course, I am just a regular player and in no way associated directly with Turbine or developers or anything. So I can't do a cross-server drop like Cordovan did. But still, for people on Plan Thelanus and want one missed out, I'll be happy to give out some later today. Alright, so that little bit's completed. What else do we have going on group-wise? Looks like there's spies going on. Uh, frequently up for spies. I like spies. So let's go run to that. Hopefully they're not too far in. So there's one right there. Right here where I'm standing. And I want to get them out of my inventory because they each take up a space. Right here where I'm they do not stack, which really is annoying. Let's see, do I have... I do have... So I'm going to switch to so I drop faster. Something I don't like about the having feather fall all the time. Yeah. Certain quests, it's just better to not have feather fall on it, parts of them. Of course, the rest of this quest is pretty much entirely feather fall to help with the jumping and such. Hmm. Interesting, this is like a teaching. Oh, 
other one right here. Yeah, Cocoon and Consecrate are my primary healing sources. Last I checked, I didn't have enough for scroll heals. Hey, Bill Bong, how's it going? Lots of people in chat stream DDO. So if anybody's looking for other people to follow who stream DDO, Titan, Illervon, Bill Bong, Moffle. I heard you're good at catching pipe. Up and wrap around to this platform that we're on. And again, I think I still have it here. I grabbed that element yes. divider, I think. If you have any questions on my character, hopefully that link will answer most of them, if not all. Then you can jump over here. You just want to jump up here now. I do play a couple other characters on the stream sometimes, but this is my main. Oh, you should really jump onto the grating. <laughs> None of it. I like the pit. Who the hell is on this shit? Just jump right up around it. Always, always, always get the optional boxes. Extra bit of XP for not much extra work. Very worth doing. Come up on those boxes. You hear a metal port collar slide open. There's another one right up here. This uh, seems to be teaching the uh, rogue where the traps are. I don't know. Nice, because I don't know where they are. I always rely on somebody else playing the rogue. My rogue's not up to this level yet, I don't think. Yes. You come up the side over here, there's one more up here. And there's a final one in here somewhere. Uh, last week or so, I think. I had a code from one of the game bundles. Kayla undoubtedly climbs her way out of the sewer, pausing once to look back and wave her thanks. Oh, I actually made it up. Just right there. What I do 
here is I use my uh, my boots. I'm gonna wrap around like that. Well, I think you're in a hand, dude. Oh, you just drop down, it's okay. Just don't drop down. I almost strapped the wall that time. It's fun when you get to shoot up the wall and be right up to the uh, shrines. Skips a bit of the level. Doesn't always happen, though. Welcome to everybody who's joined. I see you've joined. I know some people find it kind of creepy when you call out their name individually every time they join, so... We'll always do that, but... When you're using IRC, you can see all the joins and parts. that way for us and then just jump on. It doesn't always work as you can see. They're on the pipe? Yep. You get real lucky and blow you to the second point. Hey Javor. Javor? Yavor? Not sure how to pronounce that. Sure Welcome. Hey, 45 and up. Alright, just this next one. How's it going? I think we're probably going to sit here and wait for the uh, tutorial portion of the group to finish up. So while we're sitting here, Let's go ahead and run over real quick the, the uh, schedule. Yeah, it seems like I'm hitting my head on it. This is the normal schedule as I know it at this time, um, with the substitution that Dag is doing minion money instead of blue clean. Oh, are you still down? But uh, yeah, I'm on the wing. There you go. Oh yeah. Yeah, Bill Bong. Good feather fall on. Yeah. And of course, if you there. You're interested in seeing more of uh, my playing. You guys I've got my own Twitch YouTube. channel, YouTube, and other stuff. So there you have it. Just go ahead and jump on that air. Looks like we're still tutorialing. He said hi and bye, Titan. So you can see the pipes as you're coming up. I'm hitting my head on something. Do I have to directionalize? No, not really. You're just missing that point for some reason. Are you letting it take you where it goes? Are you using yeah. Oh, you're right there. Yeah, whatever, I hate this quest. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing next. That's the hardest one in, in the game, in this one. It's just the pit with more XP. A lot more. First round I got 118, second I got 97. Uh, the loud mimic companions. 
if you're in front of Linus and want a thing. Von 3. Von 3. You're going to do hard on that one, aren't you? We can. We can just drown. You just blow right through it. Welcome to those who just joined. Glad you decided to check us out. This is the official DDO channel. I am part of the community stream team, which means I am just a player. I have no other special status. Yeah, so you, if you want a mundane mimic pet, um, hang out outside Von 3 here when we finish. Um, let's see, do I have an inventory? Maybe I don't have an inventory. Yeah, just send me a Talon game. And we'll see what we can do. Again, I'm on Thalanus. I have nothing on other servers, although Mist says he has some on Argo. Gildy wants me to join him, so I'll be doing that probably after this. What are we talking about level wise? 20? Huh. Looks like we're going to be doing the words. Dust, Lords of Dust after this. At least I and my guildy are. The party is going to continue doing whatever they're doing. Pretty sure. So what does everybody think when somebody says, hey, guild's calling? Does that mean somebody just wants to drop group? They're looking for an excuse or is their guild really calling them? I think it depends on the situation. Sometimes it seems too convenient that the guild is calling the person right then. That sucks, Bill Long. I uh, got two nines and a ten in about 2,000 cards myself. So I got one tome and that's it, really. I didn't have any Maybar gear, so I stocked my ESO's characters with Maybar gear, those who could use, use them. And uh, other than that, I've got a lot of cards just sitting here doing nothing. That's true, too. AD20 on it's really the guild. That seems fair. It seems like those times when you're waiting for a raid to start or something like that, and it's been like two minutes and some, he seems impatient. They're like, oh, guild's calling, I'm going to go do something else. Right. You just don't want to wait for the raid to fill or something like that. Or if 
you know, you're one of those pugs that something happens during the quest and it's going sorry hey Lervon good night thanks for tuning in for a bit We'll stand up to it. Oh, good. We have a trapper that disabled it. That works too. A little bit sad not to have any mimics anymore. I really liked just seeing them randomly spawning quests, so that was fun. I'd like to see a low percentage chance of them happen all the time. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, I actually had, let's see, what was it? It was a shroud that actually filled. And then it had the, oh, well, then someone who joined the group and who is flagged but can't find their way to Meridia happened. And then there was the, okay, now they're in. Somebody else went AFK, so they actually lost out. And, yeah. One of those groups where things don't go smoothly. And then finally when we restarted for that person, the other person died and dropped group and you know, one of those just clusters. The actual shroud itself went really well once we started for reals and got through it. It wasn't that bad. It was just uh, getting there, which you know, happens sometimes. And hello to those who joined. Feel free to say hi in chat. Um, I am watching chat. There's plenty of other people to chat with in there at the moment. But hey, it was in the trial completion, so, you know, whatever. The rest of it doesn't really matter. But it did seem like the uh, Mimic event really did slow down raid fiddle. More people were farming than raiding. Well, if I'm here, I'm going to get the collectible. Might as well. No reason not to. That's cool. I fit in one shroud and some miscellaneous questing here and there, and mostly it was... I didn't actually play as much as I planned, which is one reason I didn't farm as much. Um, I did a lot of sitting in Storm River Fresco, waiting for a frenzy while doing other stuff around the house. And, online and stuff like creating that uh, page about my character and stuff so didn't do nearly as much as I want I'm still doing favor running on my bard helping guildies get their levels fun stuff Somebody got it. Yes, they did. Okay. 
I always make sure somebody gets that key. I've seen too many times where that people miss that, because everybody presumes somebody else will get it. And nobody else does, and then you're sitting there without a key, which is kind of important. The experience with a builder is very different when you're on a caster. Self buffer. There it is. Where is it? Somebody's got it. There we go. The clusters of giant mushrooms grow more sparse as you emerge. I know a great many acronyms. In Shadowrun terms, I am very fluent in corpse speak. Did I actually miss that? That's the first time I've missed that in quite a while. Wow. Question is, do you know what it means? I find that's a big problem in business, is that people uh, throw around acronyms without really knowing what they mean, or they throw around terms without knowing what they mean. So it's really good if you're going to start throwing acronyms around to understand what they are, rather than just the acronym itself. I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I was looking for ways to put things on my resume and came across some of the most dense corpse speak I've ever encountered. And I finally decided that it really wasn't worth it to use it because it really didn't say anything. It had a nice big long sentence that didn't say anything. Well, then you should ask them to explain it to you in detail so you understand it. Like a lot of people I know on my uh, LinkedIn network have integration. And I really don't understand what they mean by integration. Yeah. And I've worked with them. I don't remember any integration that we did together. So I question its validity as a term. Hello, trigger. I don't know why that really doesn't trigger like it should. Meaning to suspect my mouse is not working like it should. Probably review the footage for the keyboard and see if the virtual keyboard is registering that button press. I think it should be. Oh, 
Thanks for the gear, Cobalt. Alright, so over to Guild. We'll see what we got going on there. Grab the ship, sell. Hey, Big Jim, how's it going? <laughs> That's how it's going. Bit early in the morning. Yeah, we're cool. Let's see, it doesn't look like interesting. None of that looks interesting. Yeah, I'll be good there. Yeah, that would be uh, early, Big Jim. I would definitely consider that early. Hey, Lionel. How's it going? Not sleeping, huh? That sucks. I have that problem sometimes. Don't like it at all. I'll pick up some clocked bulls here and there. Some of those quests with lots of them. Oot, oot. <laughs> well, you probably shouldn't be sleeping at work. The novice who I would guess. Lies on the ground in the hallway ahead. Collectible here somewhere, there it is. I was in some training class earlier and I was having a hard time staying awake. Actually, no, the yesterday was the one that was hard to stay awake in. Today's was fairly okay. To look more like a dark and sinister temple, and less like an empty warehouse. Huh, not a scratch. That's fun. A dank chill pervades the lower level. The clink and A woman's voice drifts up from somewhere below. She speaks no man's name, and the Inquisitor himself replies. You will do no such thing. The Silver Flame has caused enough trouble. Soon nothing I can say will throw them off the scent. No, you will stay here and see that no one gets by. I will go below and assist our guests. Well...
Easy enough. I feel like power in this game kind of creeps up on you. I can remember the first couple times I did this, I was trying to stay alive in this quest, and now I'm running it with just one guildy and it's just cakewalk. I mean, yeah, we're on normal, but still. We are epic. And wait for more plot. They seem to be finishing some elaborate and unholy ritual. What? Surprised I am not who you thought I was. Not I really. should have killed you at the start. This is nothing, my friend, a nuisance. The ritual is underway, and the silver flame is powerless to stop it. So pray. Blah blah blah. Shall we continue? Now, give yourselves, my children, give to the glory of our cause. Stand aside, let my minions kill this thing. Not likely. This is the more interesting one. So much damage, so much faster than my caster. Kind of ridiculous, the difference. Yeah. The first time it was awesome, but it's kind of lost its luster after replay. I will say I'm not overly concerned with plot most times anyway. I mean, there's some neat things here and there, but, you know. Well, that's cool, Jim. Well, there's always timers. Not that I recommend timers, but it is always an option. the chain. Yay. If I can actually get this to open. You have entered the nether realm of Kyber, a magical barrier built by the silver flame. What do you want, dog? Leave it. 
leave it. Lay down. Alright. I need to go open team speak real quick. Connected. Channel switch. Hello. Oh, there we are. I am live broadcasting, by the way. No worries. <coughs> That's a quite a um, good one, isn't it? For XP, that Lord of Dust. Yeah. Very easy. Yep. I know it's not normal, but it Lie in front of a you'll get good XP, do you? You still to do those traps already, do you? Yeah, there's a couple of things in here that'd be easier with. Like that chest back there that we can't get, because we can't open it. Is this one I've done for ages. Yeah, if you want to join, feel free. I don't think we'll mind. No. Give me that. Oh, a little bit. Did you want me to save you a mimic certificate? on your shoulder. Oh, the, uh... That. Yeah. Ribbon. That was for the, uh, when the Boston bombing happened a couple years ago, as I understand it. Oh, they, right. they sold those for turbine points. I didn't get one at the time, but I found one in the auction house oh, a month or two ago. Cost me two million plat. But I liked it. I like the idea of a virtual ribbon. Good idea. So, since it wasn't possible to get any other way, I said, sure, I'll take it. Don't know if somebody else meant to have that happen or if they're trying to use the auction house as storage, but. Alright, now this is where I get confused. We have two ways to go and two crests to get. Flickering torchlight illuminates a curiously well worn path. We go eat, um, just to get through the next door, is it? Yeah. Passageway is eerily quiet. I get lost in this section. <coughs> well, maybe I shouldn't be following you then. Okay, Jim. Uh, one of these has the crest. Yeah, it looks like it's this one. I don't remember where it is. There it is. It's up here. I know what's going on. When you do a, a leap, um, epic quests, is it, um, do you have the level differential with the XP like you do on heroic? No. Like if you're level 20 and you invite a level 25, you don't get that hit, do you? You don't no. get power leveled. No, it's uh, a lot more flexible. No, we didn't go. To, no, we didn't come this way. We don't need to go that way. We came this way. Uh, no. Well, like right now, I'm 27 and you're what, 20, 21? 
22 or 21, so any, we're not taking any hit at all, I don't think. Because it would say in your XP thing. Yeah, well, I'm getting 33 and a half. Yeah, I'm getting 34 and a half. Oh, excuse me. All right, so where are we going next? Let's see, back out the way we came. You said you're going to an angel, right, Jim? A chasm filled with jagged oh yeah, this. Be careful here. <laughs> this is where the spikes are. I don't know which way we're supposed to go. No idea, gamer me. Um, again, I'm just a player of DDO. I have no official connection with Turbine, WB, or what have you, so I am not the correct person to ask. Tomorrow, around noon, Cordovan is on. Um, he might be a better person to ask. I'm not sure how involved he is with Ashran's call. All right, let's see. Nope, oh, you're not on yet. Nothing is left of the drow gathering dragon shards here, except still smoldering. Oh, the chest. It's always good. Did this must not be far away. Yep, no problem. Um, you could also ask on Twitter through email, but uh, yeah, he would definitely be Cordovan would be the person I'd talk to. And again, tomorrow noon Eastern, which is at the, this point is six o'clock Eastern. I don't know what time zone you're in, but uh, yeah. Oh, 5k for that, that's right. Flame War, which one's that? Club. Hmm. Alright, just a second, let me invite you in then. That should do it. Alright. We need the other crest. It wasn't this way. This was the Fire Lord way. God, I've got no buffs at all. No shit buffs. Oops. They last so long, you forget about them. Yeah. It is easy to forget them. The other way, then? No, that's just fine. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> I can hear you, man. Yeah. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? All all spikes. Spikes. We have all sorts of echo now. I can't put three different chat clients going on over here. Down the hall back here. I gotta go turn off your stream now because uh, I get in double voice once delayed. It is? Hmm. So it's this one. That's what you're telling me. Oh. I guess if you start running a quest and half the party goes one way, half the party goes the other, that you don't necessarily learn what the other half is. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, okay, got the other crest. Now I'm in a spike pit. Good. Definitely need to get out of there. Oh, I just hope to use my abundant step, but you need... Yeah, die for that, don't you? Hmm? I was... 
the abundance step, you need the key. Yeah. For that, the key for that, don't you? Yep. You can't just do it. I haven't got any. I'm out of there anyway. You can always meditate. Uh, Doors open. All right, that should be better. This way. Yeah, I know I fell in again. Oh, we might as well do the optional. A drow priestess is absorbed in an elaborate spell. Ah, uh, jerks. It does take a while to do that, doesn't it? Nice timing. Yay, just in time. Yep. Quite looking forward to Thursday. <clears throat> yeah. Never done. I've never done that before. Have you done it? What? As the path drops the orchard raid. Oh yeah, we have to flag for it. Finish flagging for it still though. Uh, it's, yeah, but it's still like a pre-raid. I've still not done that bit either. Yeah, that the pre-raid's interesting. You have to do it four different times. So I hope we're all actually there for it. I hope we can all get flagged. Um, I, I think um, the new chap might have been leveling. I'm not really. It doesn't really worry me too much if we. Someone's over leveled, does it? No, he actually is 21 now. I think. He was leveling. Um, we just happened to run because he was at the right level range last week. But uh, yeah, he's already in epics now. Oh, okay. Anyway, like you say, it's only a six it's only a six man job the first bit anyway, isn't it? Yep. Fury of the Flame. Meh.
yeah, it's just a matter of somebody keeping track of which ones we've done and doing the right questions at a certain point to get the, all the different endings. Have to read up. The other thing is we have to make sure everybody has all the pieces to flag. We might end up doing a lot of the, uh, or more of the quests over and over. I think we just about did it, I think. Yeah. I'm, I think Chris is missing two or three pieces. I'm missing two pieces, I think. I still missing two pieces. I think so. I'd have to log over there and check. We know Greasy's flagged, so that's not a big deal. I thought somebody else was flagged too. Oh, I am, yeah. You, you did? Uh, we're talking about Abbott on our static group. Missed. Um, we're doing every quest in the game, trying to do it at level elite, where possible, including raids, where we can. And uh, we hit the fun Abbott flagging bottleneck, where some of us have all the pieces in our sigils, some of them just don't, and yeah. So yeah, Thursday will be interesting to see. And then some people weren't there last week, but we were trying to just farm the pieces for everybody else who needed them. Yeah. I've actually been through the whole process, so I'm somewhat familiar with it. But some people haven't, so this will be fun for them. First time through Litany. And then Abbott, of course. I have a feeling we're not going to uh, get through short many Abbott the first time on Elite. We may have to do it easier. Well, see yeah. too long as we fail on the lead, it'll be alright. Yeah. That's kind of the rule, is we have to at least attempt it on Elite. And if we think we can, we can go back and try it as many times as we need. But if we can't, then we can drop it down difficulty and... until we get it. But... It's nice knowing that we're going to be doing every quest in the game. We have to go back and clean some of the older... Like, we never got through Titan successfully. So we have to go back and do that, which is kind of a pain. That's why we're, we've been kind of waiting a couple levels to do it again. And hopefully get some more people into it, rather than just the normal six of the static group. We did okay until, you know, pillars got dropped and they ran out of pillars and things like that. The first part wasn't too bad, I don't think. But yeah, I don't stream those. Um, I record them for guild, and I post them privately for the guild, but I do not record those or stream those for public consumption. Kind of by request. It wasn't on me. It was tardy, wasn't it? Yeah. Which is fine. I understand if you don't want that stuff. That's just kind of what I do, so by default, I think, you know, I want to at least record it, if not post it. What happened with the pillars? Um, well, as, al as I understand that as always happens in Titan, you're really not sure what happened with them. They just sort of started falling on their own. We're not sure if somebody mistargeted something or what exactly happened. But they just started falling, and nobody said that they did anything to make them fall, so we're not sure. I don't know if you can tell from the video what happened or not, but... Yeah. Basically ran out of pillars, however it happened. You've got to be bang on, that's bang on with it, haven't you? Just right. But given the length of the piece before that you have to complete, and then 
the coordination required in doing that again. Uh, yeah, it'll be a little bit before we try it again, probably. Everybody already got voices and everything? Viola. Okay, not bad. Yep, missed, I agree. The getting in there and then having something bug out on you is really annoying. In that particular quest, for sure. Or raid, I should say. Yay, spinner. Plot points galore. That's right. This is a right turn, not a left turn. Ahead, a Rakshasa and a company of Drow are arguing over. Was it straight in from here? Yeah, you just go into that thing at the end. And you go right into it. I wish more quests would have that. More quest chains. Come on, Gimli. Strange glowing spiders are locked in battle with some kind of spirit made up of pale blue flames. The spiders are devouring the flames. Spinner of Shadow struggles. And here we go with plot. The spiders consume the last Yay, plot. I'll turn off the UI for plot, although you can still see all my overlays in OBS. I think this is the longest dialogue in the game. Though I also see that you have allowed some pests to follow you inside. The demon overlord glares down at you with contempt. The stink of Enron is on you, mortals. I will turn my attention to your world in due time. But for now, it pleases me to let you live. Someone must witness my return and survive. Destroy these intruders, my lady! One of the Rakshasas growls. We will report your glorious release to the world. Now let us leave this place. You must help us release the other demon overlords. I will do no such thing. I will do no such thing. <laughs> now that I am free, I have no need for the other overlords. You've played this play this one before. She awaits me. <laughs> all, a burst of blue flames suddenly yeah. in front of the demon. The spinner of shadow screams and scuttles back into the darkness. You feel her grasp on you slip as the silver flame I get some essence, but I don't have to go back to the beginning all the time. escaped yet. Some of the flame still burns here. The silver flame guardian speaks. We have driven oh, on a spider hunt now. Destroy her spiders. The nice thing about this quest is it has different mechanics. Oh, sorry, I should request do that straight through. The house D quest do it, don't they? Yeah. The depths. Depths is one right there. I'm gonna just let them sit. I'm not gonna pick them up. Okay. How many do you need for each one? I forgot. Four, I think. The voice of the silver flame whispers in your mind. Many spiders have burrowed underground, yet they can feel All right, she's on the tunnel pain. side. Hurt her and drive them up. Oh, me. Looks fine to me. Stream looks fine to me, Titan. What should I do when I got a aggro? Just. Come back to the middle. Is the usual yeah, tactic. Hurt. That way you can get the free healing from the dude. And in the flame. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's usually what people do. Spiders 
crawl out of their hiding places in response to the demon's call. So what I understand the tactic here, why people usually collect the however many crystals they need before they uh, You can run but you can't hide. Turn the torches on is because evidently more of those uh what are they called? The big ugly dudes spawn if you have more torches lit. Oh I see. So by saving them until doing all the end, you get less of those guys. Herzo, Hezro, whatever they called. More of those things spawn if you uh, turn them in sooner. Hezro. Thank you, Mist. Once more, the demon's voice echoes from the shadows above. Demons of Kyber, hear my call. These guys. Protect my children. Which can really be a pain on harder difficulties. Oh sh! This difficulty is not horrible. Bloody... Find it really hard to target those things. Yeah. Uh oh. An extra stone. Where are you at? I can get you up. Uh oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, so yeah, thanks. So thanks. How many things do you need? Well, I need to really need to gather my comms. 16. I need more than that, I believe. I need like 30 some, don't you? Like 36? Um, well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Nine. A lot. So you need 36. Where is she? This is much more interesting than the uh, Lolf fight in Caught in the Web. Thanks, Mist. It's 36. And there she is. Come for me, my sister! cries the Spinner of Shadows. You aren't free. You have an appointment with death here, there, lady. Yes, yes, yes. Give me the. The spinner of shadows decides to change tactics. Back to the uh, center now to defend. I don't usually take this side, so I get lost out here. Defend the wall. Hmm? What did you say, defend? The center with the guy. The silver flame guy. He's, yeah, there's a bunch of spiders on him right now. We need to kill all those spiders and defend him. Yeah, this is kind of a defense slash escort quest that's actually worth playing. It's not horribly annoying. Because this is really the only hardcore defense part of it. Let's 
see, we've got 20 crystals here. I've only got four or five, I think. All right, you got four or five. So we still need more. Relighting the wards. The demon chuckles in the shadows. An amusing game, mortals, but you are out of time. I grow stronger, and your allies dwindle. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. Just give me more spiders so I get the crystals I need. She snared and tripped me. That was rude. Alright, I've got 28, so about two more should do it. Oh, did, you, did I lose all my crystals when I died? Uh, you probably did, didn't you? I probably picked those up. So I have them all, so I need more than that. Okay. I've, I've still got. I've got five just from now. Six even. Alright, we should be good then. Go back to the middle and start lighting torches. Oh, what? Except you died again. <laughs> ah, I threw you a cocoon. How did I die? Uh, I don't even know. Where are you at? Alright. Uh, it just chucked it me just back chucked outside, me again. outside again. If he's automatic. If he's automatic. Really? Seem to. Seem to. You got enough to light the wards yet? No, I'm out. Need four more. Did you see? Do I? Did I leave a big pile? All right, there's plenty just... on this side. In case. Let's get these last four. Relight the last one. Laying on the ground. And should just be one more. I don't know why I was having negative levels, I think. I wasn't anywhere close to you, so I have no idea. Just go back and light this last torch. I'll have another plot point. The last Yay. Light fills the cavern. The spinner of shadow shots. But it is a shot of triumph. Not Oh, I hate when games go to white. I really hate when games go to white. It's so bright. Never mind, so I'll probably run some vans and rants myself. Just to see if I can get those last pieces I need. If not, probably have to end up doing more of the quests to get those last couple. 
Is it all about Kim? She got some to get as well. Yeah, it's two or three. I don't remember how many. I can probably just do a box and at least get some of that done, hopefully. Is that it? Oh, we got to kill this thing. Nope, that's it. We just wait for the plot. And then we have the whole next part of the chain with the demon web. Hey, Tinder Kindle, how's it going? Unless you want to do something else besides the last of this chain. Um, no. Hmm, interesting. You can't chat when your eyes not up. Alright. Tinder Kindle is another person who streams CDO. Real time. I tried listening to what you had to say with your stream, but. Yeah, the long delay. delay. Yep. You guys got your voices? Yep. 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 Hey, look. Sha, you're a champion. You got a yellow thing over your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not quite. Alright. What did we get? I had a double crossbow. Gotta had that. You got a double crossbow. What did you get? You got Templar's Bastion. No. You wanna need a double crossbow? Nope. No thanks. No that thanks. Tempest that Bastion is Bastion. Bastion. Any one of them want it. Any one of them want it. Nah, you guys don't need it. Don't. Star, no. Oh, wait. Templar's docent deal. Need that? I got one character. Sorry for burning your ears on that. That initial sound is really loud. On that particular cutscene, and I don't find any value in watching it again, so I skip it. Need that uh, seal of the Templar's docent? No, mate. No, mate. Over. 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 Go. Let's see what my inventory is like. Do I have? Oh, I got. I have plenty of room. <laughs> Mist was prepared. Yeah, I forget about it until it happens, and I'm like, oh yeah, sorry everybody. That sound is so loud. Kind of like the mimic companions are so loud. So again, I'm playing on Thelonis, if anybody's on Thelonis and feels like joining us. Just kind of doing a casual run with uh, Gildy and uh, Big Jim here from the viewers on the stream. Oh, that cutscene's awful. Yep. That's why I was hit P or something to skip it. It's just that initial sound is so loud. Next. Uh, what is this one called? I forget what this is even called. Hello. Let me click on it. Beyond the Rift. Uh, 
All right, let me sell some of this junk. Right yeah, here. I think he did missed. I remember him saying something about they're looking at, or that's on the, his list of things to possibly get done in amongst everything else they're doing. I would really like the mooks to be quieter. Yes, yeah, just want to put your top to the ship. Oh yeah, because your buffs are out of here about that. Alright, I'm staying outside the quest, so whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Oh, I like this character's name, by the way. Trying to tell you, Timmy stuck in well. So yes, it is a Lassie reference. I thought it was. I'll do another quick view of the schedule here while we're waiting. So we have people streaming Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at the moment. Um, there are more spots open uh, for the schedule if you'd like to stream. Uh, instructions are in the DDO forums if you'd like to stream on this channel. Be a part of the community stream team. Cordovan is always looking for more people to fill out the schedule. And again, more of me. I stream for my own channel. Uh, most of the stuff, like I archive the streaming, my streaming sessions on YouTube. I do some other videos, tutorials, and such if things now and such the like. Second largest uh, dialogue. Yeah, <laughs> Piking Elminster, and uh, Twitter, my site, and Steam. Other places to find me. Forgot to pick up the quest. This is good because I wanted to get to 28 anyway, so I'm only like 440k away. Uh, is um, that from the same person you get the quest from? Um, it's the guy inside the cavern. So you go to Evening Star Cavern and then talk oh, to the guy in the, the middle. Yeah, sorry. Go to the Demon Wind entrance, okay. Yep. And there's a guy back there on the platform in the center. Normal yeah. or hard? Don't mind, don't mind. Hey, Javor. Javor. You're the leader. How'd I get leader? <sighs> That's a guild thing. We always. People always pass leadership to doubt somebody else. If you don't notice, you'll be stuck being leader. And somebody goes, oh, yeah. Leader should decide. You're thinking, yeah, somebody should decide. And, oh, yeah, that's me. It happens all the time in our guild. Considering yeah, I died twice, twice on normal, I feel like I So what are we going to do after we finish all the quests? You're, a stranger here, I'm oh, you're talking a couple of years. <laughs> no, not a couple of years. It might maybe another year before we get through them all, but what's the next static group plan? There's a lot of things you can do, isn't there? I mean... Yeah, that's why I was kind of curious as to if there, anybody had started thinking about the next thing to do. Come with me. We've had... I love the whole static group thing. Just I quite like the idea of a, all the same, of certain, not class, but race at least. Um, oh, so TR into the same thing? 
race-wise, and then yeah. split the classes. That's an interesting one. That's as long as it's not human. By the way. I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, no problem. Well, they talked to him. We could just um, all epic TR. Yeah, I could do that too. Okay. We are in the realm of the vile goddess Loth. She and her sister. Probably quite nice to do the stuff with not the low level stuff because you just don't tend to do that much anymore, do you? Right. That's kind of why I like it. For two reasons. One is to revisit low level stuff, you know, at level with a full group and elite and all that. And the other is that a lot of the stuff we're starting to get to, the stuff I haven't really done at all or much. So that's good yeah, too. It's going to be that stuff around 18, 19. I expect you've done a lot of it. Yeah. In Devil Playground Battlefield. Yeah, I've done that stuff like once. Closer to my home. And in a you know pug group that zerg, so I don't even know that I know how it was supposed to go. Have you actually done the Tower of Despair right? You can actually jump around this. Yes, done it once. Hey, Limdul. Yeah. It's one thing I don't like about MMOs is people being on different servers not being able to play together. The hunched creatures ahead make some strange and disgusting sounds as they root through old bones. Elminster departs... As far as areas go, the demon web I really don't like. It's really confusing to get around. To me. I think they could have done a little more with the uh, highlighting that points out your next place you're supposed to be going. Sometimes it doesn't... I just don't see it. Okay, okay. Back, in, back in, back in. Sorry about that, sorry about that. No problem. Yeah, it's just those torches can be subtle sometimes. I mean, I, I've i learned to look, kind of know what to expect and look for them, but sometimes you get confused or fall off the path and like, oh, great, now what? More specifically, the explorer area for Demon Web is really bad to know. me. Just follow the torches. Is that the idea, is it? Yeah, you look for the the light basically guides you in where you're supposed to go next. So wherever you see something that's not cold gray, but warm brown, then that's the way you're supposed to go. Basically. It's one of the reasons I don't play anything really in the demon web except for this, because it's just too hard to find. If the party's already started, then it's going to take me too long to find the quest, so I don't worry about doing the rest of these. Allegrag took me around the other day to them, so I did, I've done them then, but that's about it. Yeah, no, I've done been, I forgot about that. This is actually an area later on, isn't it? Requesting. I've only done those once. Yep. Of the demon web is a vast structure that can only be Are you doing okay? Any minutes to wait? Uh, I think I'm coming towards you. There's mobs here, so you might not be. I oh, know. Need to be coming in the right direction. Just before I make the this jump here. Hey, thanks, Tender Kindle. It's um. Easy key, I think, is what I'm using. If you want to do the same, just another app. You just do do a window capture on it, 
and uh, works pretty easily. Customize the colors and everything. A spider hatchery lies empty. The brood it bore has already consumed the weak in the swamp, then dispersed into the demon web. Oh, this is the. No one needs a shrine. Lie and snared in Loth's web. This will be the fate of Eberron unless you find a way to repair the rift that is slowly consuming your home. I also have the dragon camp. Yeah, let me look just to make sure it's easy key. Yeah, easy key. Spelled just like that. There's no dashes or anything. No, easy. The, the letter's easy. Sorry. And yeah, it works with OBS just fine. There are other options. Um, I just happened to pick this one. I think there's three or four other ones that are available free and everything. That guy doesn't want to be killed for some reason. I can look the URL up, but it should be easy to just search for it and find it. <coughs> Let me go ahead and type it out. There we go. Yeah, I first saw who was it. Somebody playing Isaac, I don't remember who it was off the top of my head, doing that. I thought it was a really interesting way to see you know, what they're doing a lot easier. On a shot, so I mostly use it for tutorials when I do a tutorial video, but I also like sometimes just showing you know, different abilities, triggering all that. You gotta get a sense of what happens during combat rather than just trying to watch all the different icons where you know, hotkeys you can't necessarily tell. What's doing what? Of your physical form and join me. Become greater than you ever were. Become one with Lolf. Loth vanishes with a piercing burst of magical energy. And for an instant, you stand transfixed by the strange scene. Then a sudden onslaught. I do have a problem with it crashing. Um, when I try to save the settings, so I keep really setting the settings on easy key, but that seems minimal for the, you know, 30 seconds it takes to reset the color settings every time I use it. And then OBS, I, have, I do have to refresh the window every time, so I have to go into the, uh, whatever, not the scene, but the other thing, source, and reset it, refresh it, and then it works fine. But other than that, it works great. a glimmering magical portal. You have no way of knowing what strange new world it leads to, but at least it will take you away from the demon web. You find yourself in a vast cavern of stone. Are you going to crash in this transition too? If you are to find elements to No, I'm fine. First, okay. You escape from the vastness of the undertow. Just thought we'd hold up if you're going to crash again, but since you're not That reminds me, I need to put easy key down on my uh, fac on my Twitch page. I was going to do that and I forgot. I've had several people ask me about that.
sound of battle has alerted another colony of deadly spiders. Nobody here. Darn it. Rare spawns there sometimes. Same reason why code never worked. Well, not never, but doesn't always work the first time or any of that. It gets complicated when you're trying to tell, convert a requirement into code. Don't always tell the computer exactly what to do the exact right way you want to do it. Or some things come up and you don't you anticipate. Turned around? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Right through here. This looks right. Traps in here somewhere. There they are. Yeah, and where do you think that comes from? It's all code based. So I'm sure when DDO came out, there was a lot less of that. But the more they work on it, the more they put in, the more bugs creep up because of the mix of old and new code and unintended consequences of the code they put in. So yes, I'm talking about the same thing you are, Titan. Check on the rear. Nope, no rare. It all has the same source, and that is code. <laughs> bad luck. It was, it was just as bad back then, huh? Three drow scouts are talking on the ledge above. Perhaps they can well, to the surface. Yeah. For any code to last that long is pretty good, especially with uh, companies being so cost conscious and not always allowing adequate testing time and such. This is blocked. A magical portal lies ahead. If the scouts are right. There we go. I'll take the fighter tactic in your space tank at all. Not worry about it. The drow patrol you saw before is taking a break on the other side of the ravine ahead. I'd imagine being a coder on an MMO would be a very frustrating experience. It's not something I'd want to do. You need a jump? I shall have to clean up after them. should be right. Oh. Yep, you needed to jump. <laughs> I should have used the abundant steps idea. It's a moderator in the IRC sense. Which means that you can kick ban people. Right, Turbo no has no rights on any channel to do anything like that. There's going to be some more popping up behind this. And there's a trap coming up. Thing. Yep, there it is. Alright, it should be clear. Well, we got tamper bonus already, so that helps. Probably should go ahead and have him disable these traps over here, too. Yeah. Need to shrine? I uh, don't. Not for me, thanks. For me, thanks. Alright. Let me go check the rare. To those who have joined recently. Welcome, thanks for watching. How's it going? Hope you're having a good evening. To have been left behind as food for the local spider population. Getting skunked on the rares. 
Yeah, it's disappointing. Not have all those rares. Any of those rares. Two spiders stand guard in front of the gate. Almost as if they had been ordered to do so. Not almost, exactly like because they were. Once again, you see the now familiar sight of the drow Hey guys, where are we going? What? Really? A small but well guarded drow outpost lies up ahead. Here. No. Where's the. Huh. Missed the trip. I didn't see the trap. These drow fought with military precision unheard of. Isn't there another one over here? Should be. There should be two. I usually just work around them, but... There's usually another spell word somewhere. thought there was one more. Hmm. Don't see it. Oh well. Alright, then. Maybe it's only on Elite. Could be. Thinking that. On Harder Elite, there's probably more traps. That's how it usually works. A fresh breeze blows down from an open. The leader of the drop turns to confront you. It's like I could expend effort to kill this mob, but I don't have to, so why bother? Voices. Thank the gods I have given up hope. But where did you come from? Seventy-five thousand. Cool, that's good. Got fifty-eight here. Get to go talk to Elminster. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Because the reason I wanted to do this was actually to do the whole lot in order. I, I think that'd be it for me anyway. But I'm going to go and talk okay. to him. Well, that was fun. It's not often we get to play outside of uh, our static group nights. No, I'm trying to play a bit more lately. Get back into it a bit. Yeah. That's my one frustration with the guild is that we don't have people on more often. Yeah, yeah, we should sort it out. Other than that, I love the guild. But once in a while, it's like, I wish there was more people I could... Yeah, and Frosty's not on much anymore, is he? Really. No. At all. He's gone, isn't he? Yeah, he seems to disappear for a couple months at a time and then come back. That's what's beauty of free to play, isn't it? Yeah. Right, thank you, right, very, thank much. you very much, people. I must go to bed. And, and nice to have rest of you. See you later. See you later. See you later. Oh, no problem, man. Take it easy. And I'll see you on Thursday if nothing else. Yeah, I should go on, but I'll see you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and sign out team speak as well. Disconnected. There we go. Yeah, it's a private static group with uh, my guild. It's on Thursdays. Oh, well, what's next, boss? Oh, I don't know. Guess we can just do Druid's Chain since we're already here. Whatever you want. It seems to be easy. Quick.
Definitely do these on hard. Yep. As far as I know, as soon as I hit 28, go back to 20 and do it all over again. As you enter Uth Lodge, you are greeted only by silence. Yeah, that one member of our guild that really, really likes running Epic Elite hasn't been on for a couple months. So. Oh, whatever I'm on, I'm on Divine, aren't I? I think so. Power of Life and Death again, probably. I think that's what I'm doing at the moment. I think it'll be... this is my second divine life, so... It'll be that. Again, for those who haven't seen it, who have questions about my build, I do have some answers there. A live, gray-clad figure flees deeper into the house. Friends Grab and crap. Okay. Hey, Underlord, how's it going? Do the secret door. Hope you're doing well this evening. I'm not sure how to get to it anyway. Unfortunately, well, fortunately at the moment, I'm out of a job, so that's not a problem for me. <laughs> but yes, uh, Sorry about streams that. Can, fill, can fill that void while you're working until you can get back to uh, having the uh, DDO play time. Are you not opening? There you go. Lagging again. Yep. <laughs> Close the door. I shut the door. <laughs> Having some fun there. out of the three woods, hopefully. There we go. I've been having basically job hunting classes every day for the past couple weeks and for the next week or so as well. And I am so glad I'm no longer in school. I just Every time I see one of those wood like roads, I think, 
the little kid thing. Stranger danger. <laughs> yeah, they're taking you know training for work and such, and that's a little different, but. The whole sitting in class and being lectured to and stuff. Just, and I've been an instructor before, and that was my job for a while. So I've done that. I was supposed to actually go study in Japan after I graduated. And uh, I found that I was enjoying not going back to school more than I was the thought of actually going to Japan and going back to school. So that's what I did. I went out working instead. And sometimes I wish I had done that, but realistically speaking, I would not have enjoyed the classes probably nearly as much as I enjoyed working. XP bonus. So much nicer. Get extra 30% every time. Yeah, the normal monk sure doesn't have rogue in it. Got the paladin, put rogue. I'm I really enjoy her. I used to enjoy the architecture field trips at college. Those are fun. Across the room, heavy head priest Jaskier says, "Take that key on the table. I forget which wing it opens. I'm afraid." As the door to the hospital swings open, oh, my whole screen went black. That's not fun. It minimizes. Huh. Weird. Has taken ill just like the other patients. Magical might did not protect him. This corpse contains some of the symbol the head priest spoke of. Nearby. <laughs> I remember doing the first, this is the first time when heroic and dying a bunch. Now I'm an epic hard and I'm not even paying that much attention while I'm doing this. <laughs> More looking at chat, making sure stream's going okay. And I'm not really worried about it at all.
stay here, stay here, dummy. No, he wants to be out. Hey, Rickyves. Okay, I have yes. How's it going? That'd be cool, Mist. I would enjoy that. Of course, that would get complicated really quickly. Okay, now I have a copy over here. So I don't lose anything, but then I gain stuff on this server by running with the people over there. So what do, then what do I do? Do I copy back? Do I not play on this server for a while? And then... Yeah, that'd be odd. Plus the issue, then you have all your, your stuff, and people would use it to... I'm sure fill their inventories with stuff and then auction it off. So it'd have to kind of be without gear, which kind of defeats the purpose. A patient lies sick with the strange infection. Neat idea, though. You can do something to help. Just not sure how that'd be implemented. So we did Lords of Dust earlier, and uh, we are on the Druid chain. Did some spies, did some house P stuff. You go through and deal with Uth, he says. Say for that the quarantine area smells Baron Uth appear. And there's the message that you joined channel finally. So odd how that wait so long to appear. I love how he goes attacks the wisps. It's hilarious. Just making sure. I snacked. Because I didn't know if you are going to wake up and cook or not. Yep. Alright, I see chat going, so let me catch up with that while we're running back here. Uh, yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking, because, you know, I'd like to be able to run in some of these other groups that are happening on streams here and there, but I don't want to give up everything I already have. I mean, I spent so much time on this character and everything. I don't want to give it up. Um, Stubble? You can spread it around. Um, you can only get the cut top tier in one of your trees. So... Depending on what you are, you, know, you might choose carefully on that, but other than that, it's uh, good to just play it around. You can reset your trees fairly easily, so um, if you're not following a build, then you know it's good to go see what other people, just try the things and see what you like. See how they, see what other people's builds are and maybe adjust yours here and there, but DDO, one of its main strengths is its flexibility. You can do a lot of different stuff. So, you know, try concentrating one, see how that works. If you don't like it, reset and uh Burn and paw, right? Go into uh another tree or split trees or you know play with more of your racial tree or if you have harper agent play with that. There's just lots of flexibility. I mean, every life I do a slightly different variation on my same build because I'm doing epic reincarnations only at the moment. I've never done heroic or iconic reincarnate. I've only done epics, so you know, every time I do that, I adjust this here and there, and I'm like, oh, what if what happens if I take another rank of this instead of the other thing I took last time or something like that? I don't following a build just keeps going here and there and trying to figure out what I like. 
I used to take the weapon meditation tree or part of the tree a lot more. Now I just take it just for the uh, um, what's that called? The one where you can use your weapon with monk forms. Keep centered in the fighter tree, Kensai tree, I should say. This is the one with the pit traps, right? Yep. So, you know, it's fun to just play around and see what different things like you heard. And Big Jim was talking about his current build, but he started with a straight monster build, but wanted some rogue skills. So then he actually took some paladin levels out and put some rogue in there, and that now he can do trapping as well as the uh, whole monster thing. So, yeah, play around, have fun doing different stuff, and as you play different characters or uh, reincarnate your one character, or however you play, um, do things slightly differently and see what happens. See what fits your playstyle. Try new stuff. That's a real huge strength of this game over most other MMOs is the flexibility. Your build can play a lot differently if you have you know, two or four or six or eight levels of another class instead of going with the same class. That the game constantly changes. Um, keep that in mind too. With all the updates, you know, each, each update things change. So, whatever build you have now, you may want to tweak next time. A couple months, the next thing comes out. Um, it's just nice, always new and re refreshing to do slightly, slightly different. Hey Slacker, how's it going? I took the wrong turn. Don't you always in this quest? <laughs> Yeah, it can be challenging to do the new system and stuff, but the nice thing about this is it's based on DDO, so if you have any familiar with, sorry, D&D, pen and paper D&D, so if you have any familiarity with the D&D system, you know, any flavor of it really, whether it's the old gold box games or pen and paper or something, then you have a you know, head start in figuring out how the stuff works. Um, and I'll say that the way enhancements works now is much easier to understand than how they used to be for the enhancement pass game. break after the next quest. Um, I haven't eaten dinner yet. Esso was sleeping and I didn't want to disturb and thought they were cooking, but they decided that they took a long nap they weren't going to, so I'm going to make myself a sandwich or something and uh, scarf that down after the next quest. We're going to finish the chain first, but just so everybody's aware, there'll be a break coming up shortly. There's lots of amusing names. There was one earlier that I showed here on Thelonis. 
trying to tell you if a chimney fell down the well or something like that. An old Lassie reference. It's pretty amusing. One of our guildmates has a bunch of amusingly named characters. <laughs> yeah. Got a champion dire bear after you. Don't want uh A migraine, which is what's going to happen if I wait too much longer for dinner. And yeah, in chat there's people from various servers. I'm personally on Thelanus, um, as are a couple other people. But uh, yeah, check the other servers out. Um, or if you've already started on a specific server, you know, ma ma please make sure to mention it, and uh, people will uh, help out. There's a whole forum thread about helping new players and crafting them some new gear and getting them introduced and stuff, and maybe a guild here and there, so definitely check that out. You have <laughs> and I knew about the trap, too. Well, no disabling that one. The tunnel opens into Halsing's own chambers. There is a third corruption here. Come on, trigger your ability, thank you. I know some of you play multiple servers as well. Uh, as Mist and I were talking earlier, we play primarily on one server and we'll occasionally guest on another server with like an iconic or another character like that, but we don't really play much on other servers. The great dire bear and her druid companion have fallen. The source of the corruption wait. Come here you are looking for Hall Saint. Yeah. Um, if you're wanting a busy server, hopefully you didn't try Wayfinder, because that's the least populated server. But other than that, I think they all have their uh, Populations and styles. Trying to break the darn thing. Before I got in there. But while Halsing lives, none of these lands are safe. Sorry about that. Well, it's an extra percentage. Yeah, but the base on this is slow enough that it's not horrible, or not a huge deal if you don't get it. Yeah, if you go to DDO, DDO Oracle, you'll see the whole all the stats graphs on servers and such. Yeah. You know, people are saying that spellcasters are underpowered, particularly in epics. Um, I won't say that I agree with that entirely, but I'll say that uh, my only other epic character is a sorcerer and doesn't see me doing that much damage um, to a lot of mobs. So. You know. But that's because, you know, being a fire spec sorcerer with a lot of fire elementals and fire resist mobs is not the best thing to have in some ways. The other thing is I don't have a lot of really good gear yet, considering I just recently got to epics on that character. So. In my experience, that is true, but then again, with my fighter here, I was underpowered at the start, too, when I first got to Epics and hadn't got a lot of the gear. So, you know, it is really gear-dependent um, in some ways, and so that's build-dependent. You know, if you optimize a build, then yeah, you're going to be more powerful regardless of your class. And again, for those who haven't seen it, I'll post it again.
this is my current character build and gear. Oops, I forgot to. There we go. So I just enjoy playing and enjoy your experiences with figuring out character builds and stuff. And have fun playing. That's the main part, point of playing the game, right? Certain things help, you know, if you get in an active guild with enough members that are on during when you're on, that helps. Maybe getting in the user channel that is active when you're active. You know, there's things that help that. In the depths of the pool, a tunnel is just barely visible. Perhaps I think I've got plenty. I bought an A. Gotta optimize your vowel buying, right? An air pocket is visible in the tunnel. So the two main ways I get my character names are random typing and the I think it's Rinkworks character name generator. This happened to be just typing. I was just typing and it's like, ah, let's do this, this. Hey, that looks good. Close enough. I don't really worry too much about character names. I do like, I mean, I'm amused by the other ones, but I do like when their names are fantasy looking. Was that three? Yeah, there's three. Oh, I forgot we're on hard. Behind us. No. Let's see what is uncentering. Oh, heavy armor. That's what it is. But the heavy armor is what's in what is uh, uncentering me. Normally, well, until I hit level 27, let's say, I'm centered with the axe because I'm in. I have that tier 5 Kensai enhancement to be centered with axes. But once I hit 27, I switch to heavy armor and I. Uh, wow, a lot of traps. Allows me to be centered. Yeah. But once I get to 27, the gear I have at 27, plus the fact that the PR and MR is so good once I get there, that it's just better to switch to me. And you can click on all the images. Um, I know you can look at the URL and see what there is, but you can also click on the images there on the character sheet in the inventory page, and you'll see what I have equipped. And you can see all the breakdowns of my stats. I can see the detailed PR, MRR, and all that if you want. It is all available on that page. And this is just my own build, it isn't anything in particular. I didn't follow a build guide. I had been following a build guide before the enhancement pass, and then when I came back I just sort of did what I felt like and it seemed to work out. And ever since, every time I Epic reincarnate, I've been doing the same thing. Just. See what sound seems good at the time and going with it. I think I'm pretty far in the Harper tree this time. If I remember right. 
Yeah, both the character sheet and the inventory screen for gear are clickable. I want it to be a little more easy to use, but for now, that's how I have it. At least it works. Ah, my trick. I kind of like this fight just because it's a nice monologue while you're fighting the entire time. It's not when you saw Lords of Dust where we were had to sit still for it. The battle keeps going on as you're hearing the monologue pieces. I like that. Of course, it really only well, maybe not. I mean, there was some of that in Lords of Dust, but I don't think it was as interesting as this is. Gives you a little bit of background on how it happened and stuff like that. Oh, knock me down. Really fun thing about damage over time is that when you can't uh, open chests because of it. Alright, so I'm going to turn this in, get my rewards, and then take a short dinner break here. I think I have one of those in my bag. Isn't that funny. I was going to use it on my sorcerer. I never did. Mm, I don't know where I want it. Let's do that. Yes, it is one of the better pieces of voice acting. I must admit, I do like that whole bit. Really good lines, good voice acting. Um, yeah. All right, everybody. Let me put my break sign up, and uh, I will be back shortly. I will mute everything, and uh, so yeah, feel free to you know stretch, grab a drink, grab yourself a snack, take a bio break, whatever. Uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes. It won't be too long. See you in a few.
Well, if you can hear me, I'm back. Looks like I'm outside the quest, though. Where are you at, Shaw? Never mind, found you. Doing the dragon?
Sure, I gotta go do some honeydews if you can hear me.
Alrighty. I was trying not to burn the heck out of my mouth. But it uh, may not have succeeded. Why is it always the opposite end of the hot pocket? It is so hot when you get to it. Alright, take my break, sign off. So welcome everybody who joined in the last couple minutes. I was taking a quick dinner break because I didn't have dinner before we started. But now that's accomplished, I should be okay for a little bit more. And everything looks good. You can see the dragon there. See the keyboard. Clear might be a little bit high. Oh well. Anyway. See you, Titan. Alrighty. What are we doing? I was trying to think um, on the break of other good, really good voice parts, and uh, I know there's another one. Can't think of it off the top of my head, though. I think I'm going to record the, uh, oh no, the soul wall can find me. And use that as my follower notification. Because that would be amusing. To me, if no one else. Oh, how many times I've heard that. Welcome back, Pwog. How you doing? Hope you're having a good evening. You will need to find a way up in order to follow it. The cabin ahead looks different. You must be close to the surface once again. A Yuan Ti priestess has raised a magical barrier, preventing you from passing further. Oh, she's a champion. How about that? Yuan Ti appears. That'd be fun. That's cool. Uh, I've been kind of relaxed today. Anyway, I haven't really been overly zerging anything. Just uh, sort of playing whatever comes up. I'll check the LFMs after this when I get back into the ship. Fish in the interesting one. Probably try to fit in. Well, let's see. How many do I have left? Yeah. Try to fit in. Do I do spies yet? I did spies, didn't I? Yeah, I did one spies, so I tried to find another spies, maybe two whiz kings. Maybe a Vaughn, I don't know. Kinda depends on what's left. What XP I need. I'd like to hit 28 tonight. Which seems really possible. Without much effort. That does sound like a good day. I hope it turns out better. Than it could be. I had to go through uh, a lot of that stuff with both my parents, and it's never fun. I'm trying to remember what. I was playing some game in the hospital. My dad was getting treatment, I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was Homeworld. That seems like it was something like that, but I don't remember for exactly. That was a tough time.
There's lots of ways to level up faster. Elite Bravery bonus, VIP. Experience potions. What's that? Plug. You find yet another Yuan T barrier. You must be on the right track. I will state my unpopular opinion that I didn't like Baldur's Gate. Did not care for Baldur's Gate. I love the old gold box games though. Had a lot of fun, played those a lot. Well, let's see how this goes this time. This is the dragons part of Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, VIP sale ended on the 8th, I believe. Check that can of money crystal build and see if they take it there. That's pretty much a mid max build, so if they don't have it, that's probably not optimal, but you know, it's worth exploring, see if it works. Yeah, this is just gonna be cake. Thought it would be. I guess I didn't have this gear on last time I was in here. Was a dragon. Ah, stupid dots. Yeah, if you find one of those popular builds like that, it can usually answer some of those questions. Hmm. There's a Spies going. There's a Vaughn going. I hate to waste Vaughn when I'm this high level, though. It's much better to get some of those first couple over with instead. Let's see what else. There's another Vaughn 3. Huh, 
uh, they're on WizKing, even though they're saying spies. I do that sometimes, I forget to switch. chain of actually no that's tempting but actually I can get there pretty fast you can drop some stuff off though Relatively certain I didn't get anything I needed. They're only five minutes in, I should be able to catch up to them. That would be good. I'm gonna go for that. Tunnels run deep beneath the tree of woe. Moaning lost souls call out to you, and the icy winds of Rizia blow through the frozen cave. Pretty good timing on my part in this quest. The ghostly beholder addresses you. I am not yet free. Time to hit the part where we drop down and actually defeat the Doomsphere. Hit in on that. Control. 
Oh, so we got the muffle in here. I thought we would wrap empty on that one. Must have missed it. Scorch marks strike the flesh maker's laboratory. Again, all welcome. Thanks for watching. We're just doing the epic. Necro for slash orchard. Hopefully this will put me to twenty eight and then I'll switch characters for a night and I'll epic reincarnate. Probably tomorrow on my own time. Playtime on my sorcerer. Yeah. Okay, we're running past them. Yeah, yeah, some groups run, some groups stay and fight. Just depends. Don't always know which one you're in. feels hotter and denser as you descend deeper into the laboratory. A heavy locked door stands to the north. Locked door, locked door, locked door. Obviously, that means we need to go get key. The 
passage climbs back towards the treatment room. what happens when you don't clean up your trash on the way out. It becomes a pain on the way back. This passage leads behind the treatment rooms and up to a security post. That's cool, Titan. That's cool, Titan. out the annoying guys. If you don't take everybody out, that's not a big deal, but... A large ruined crystal hangs above a special operating table. The ground is scorched and seared. Mentau's bride is busy at work in the control room. Check that somebody's talking to her. And do the other side. Let's see, what do we have? People on each side. I think this is one of those groups that everybody's just expected to know. There's no coordination or anything, just people are supposed to know what to do. Do it.
At that point, we're so close to killing them all, might as well just kill them all. Lightning machine shuts down. The true source of the machine's disruption appears. Oh yeah, Inferno's next. Inferno's always interesting. Horse voice drifts through the halls. Seek the flame guardians. Defeat them all. Then I shall appear. <laughs> Checking on stream looks good as far as I can tell. I see where my other window over here stopped while I was taking a break, so let's refresh that. That's better. This is one that's easy to get lost on if you don't keep up with the party, so I guess that's what we're waiting. Excuse 
to ignite the flame flares to life. Bring the garden with it. Four torches are embedded in the seething lava. There you go. That's a nice little bonus to start, isn't it? That's one thing I missed about not being VIP for a little bit. Well, the only thing I liked being, about being VIP for a little bit, let's put it that way, was the gold rolls. Some fun stuff on them. I think one of my guildies has pulled two plus six tones from his gold roll, which is ridiculous. Well, just keep me while I'm down, don't you? That's nice. That's a really great welcome to the game present, isn't it? You got an XP pot and some plat. It's awesome how fast this goes when people know what they're doing. I've had this go really slow several times. I don't think I knew that either. Does make some sort of sense. 
Also makes me think I should be logging in their servers and get my gold rolls just for funsies. Right, this is the way the extra chest. That's right. <sighs> Get out of my face while I'm trying to loot. Torch winks out, and an undead Hello and welcome. Thanks for watching. This is Seymour, your hosting DDO stream. I'm part of the community stream team. Which is just a collection of players who stream on this channel, basically. I also stream on my own channel. We do appreciate follows and subscriptions and such on Twitch and YouTube. Not only of DDO stream and the official stuff, but our own personal channels and such as well. I do have a follower notification set up, so if you do follow me on my own channel, it will pop up on video, although I don't have sound at the moment, so I won't hear it. I plan to use the hate and oh no, so walk and found me audio as my follower notification, because that amuses me greatly. I don't know why I'm not doing this. this. Get so used to beating stuff up, forget to actually trigger the abilities to beat them up faster. Anybody gets anything? Nope, 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 nope. Hold on, an open. Presumably, Volt was last then. Unless they already did it. I remember I'm mummy rotted. There's four quests and we've done three of them, so... Oh! Yep, looks like some of us missed bowl. is down into the stagnant water.
Looks like somebody might have to walk. The way forward lies down it's always a good tip if you're epic and don't have uh, haven't completed these. Complete them on heroic, so you can teleport to them. So it's much faster to get between them, because everybody else will probably have the teleport and have to be wait on you. These keys will open the way to the lower catacombs. Just a tip. Not that you have to do that or anything, but it is nice when you can just uh, get there and not have to worry about it. Wow, lag. That was fun. It's going to take a while to be down, so I'm going to trigger everything and beat him down that much faster. How did you manage to get stuff in there if you didn't have any characters on there? Did you delete characters before? They drove us out long ago. A voice whispers. Now we have returned. That's just wild. Oh, no characters here. All right, let's see what's in the bank. Uh, something? Wait a minute. That's not how it's supposed to work. Uh, really? World 
Twilight, which is one of the shields. Epic Boots of the Innocent, nice. Boots of the Innocent. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember anything about character purges. Let's see what the chain reward is. I can't believe I'm so close. I really don't want to waste Wiz King or Spies or anything else. That's really good XP. I can just run something short, like Black Lock or something. The big prize is just the chain of conviction. Really, chain of conviction. That's not at all what I wanted. Not at all. Actually, I may be able to trade this over to my sorcerer. First, before I forget, let's gather my uh, comms and such. Always, always pick these up for repeating. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to. I probably would have been too late to join the group if I had, had I picked them all up again. Much easier to get him now than later. All right, so many on Thalanus. I think I waited too long to give my mimics out. But yeah, if you're watching this on Thalanus, send me a in-game mail or something, and I'll hook you up with a mimic certificate, Monday mimic certificate, if you didn't already get one from the event. I do have. I want to give them to my guildies first as well. Not sure how many of them did anything at the event. But uh, then I've got some extras, I'm sure, because there's not very many people in the guild. I know some of them were grinding. Well, 
I'll drop some stuff in the bank real quick. Make sure I'm repaired up. I don't think I got hit much. Yeah, 37. 37 plat repair bill, that's nothing. Wow. Um, most isn't working. There it goes. All right, what else we got? I want to make sure to save that one. Well, these, of course. And... Well, look at that. Charisma 9, Archmage Eye. Charisma 8, Wizardry. I want to save both of those for my Sorcerer. And I don't know if my Charisma had on this time. Alright. Drops and stuff in the bank. I think I still have bank space left. Bank space needs to go on sale really badly. Yeah, I've got a couple spots. So I'm going to drop the boots of the innocent and these goggles and the necklace over for my sorcerer to deal with. All right, 15k. I'm going to go to house D. That uh, black lock should probably give me that, I think. If I have to, I'll do a tide turns or something. In Apex, 15k is such little XP. So very little. Let's see what the XP report says. Yep, there's enough. That trip. Using over tripping. That's fine. I'm completely missing all my trips today. Look at my cloak of ice is not missing.
Die, 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 thank you. Nope, I'm not dead yet. Twitch chat having an issue, or is no one chatting right now? Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. processing on because the uh, ship lag hit. Coins glint brightly at the end of this corridor, but so does the 
In this door is the same bright blue as the ash sapphire. <laughs> should now be an easier fight. Sadly, the jewels encrusted into this key are all cheap fakes made of paper. As you wonder whether the ship is still empty, you hear a shout from the quarterdeck above. Derek has arrived. Blankly ahead as his body takes lifeless discs 
heavy key is made of solid gold. It could fit only one door in the black lock. Treasure before you during its raid on the Black Lock. The Maiden. Oh yeah, you know what? If I'm muted, you can't hear me. It's amazing. So yeah, yeah. The mute really knocks down the uh, volume level. It doesn't entirely get rid of it, but it knocks it down to almost nothing. Uh, yeah, airship's probably the best way to go. So now that I'm not muted. I'm just going over the stream schedule and uh, my own promo thing there. Switching over here to my sorcerer, who is epic as well. Coming out of the orchard, trying to catch this uh, orchard LFM. Let's see how far in there. 18 minutes, I'm probably done. All right. Okay, I'm in the golem room, and I invised all the way to here, so make sure you invis. Mm. 
unless you want to kill all that crap. It's up to you. Yeah, I don't want to kill that stuff. No, thank you. Yeah, I do have invis potion somewhere. Invis. There we go. Did I forget to haste? I think I forgot to haste. Unfortunately, I have to uninvis for that part. Oh, I didn't realize he was soloing. Uh, I forgot to reinvis. Holy crap, holy. Yeah, you need to stay in biz. Biz and run. Yeah, I'm gonna need this right here. I guess we can go down here and kill this shit. I'm not even going to bother with that chest. Well, he, he already opened it before I even got here anyway, it doesn't matter. Oof. A little bit too hot there. Okay. You want to shine before or after the big guy? I think he's going to go shrine. I don't see the point in me shrining at the moment. Hey, I'll take a haste or anything anybody's got. There we go. Butter protection, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you.
It's gonna take some work to take down. There we go. Alright, shining real quick. Now that looks like he's. Yeah. Uh, I think I want to shrine after that as well. Just to make sure. I'm guessing he went uh, this way. Alright, we'll find you. We'll get, we'll get this lever. Oh hell, you were on the other side. I don't want to get this lever. I got their attention. You're going to have to get the lever, my friend. Hey, that works too. <sighs> oh, no problem. Thank you guys for joining me. This is kind of tough by yourself. Let's see on a rogue. Can't get up the damn ladder. So yeah, I ran out of heal scrolls and uh, kind of stuck at the moment. So I need to make sure I do that and that and then get here. Hopefully, I don't get hit too hard. There we go. Oh, I was going to say, don't jack them guys down there. Just come up top. I have nine hit points left. That was really close. Nine hit points. That could have gone worse. Two down. Hmm. That's what I was afraid of. As the lightning machine shuts down, Yay. the true source of the machine's disruption appears. Here 
Fire elementals. Hate them, hate them, hate them. Oops, it's all. guy's gonna hurt. Do you casters know that y'all can get up on top of this spear right here? And he can't hit you? And you can cast spells on him? He doesn't kill me in the process? Unless they fixed it. No, oh, you're up there. I was about to say. Ah, oh, thank God, I made it. Either one of these. Yeah, Jinx, jump up here where me or Rooney is. There you go. Get that boy, jump. I can get him in there, please. Get the pissed off there. Now we got it going. Yay. Nicely done. <laughs> and I leveled here as well. Alright. And I got to 28 here. <laughs> well, two characters 28 tonight. That's awesome. Damn, no belt. Hey, somebody got a Minos. Congratulations. Nice. Oh, if you don't need it, I'll take it. Or, yeah, he can take it. No, go ahead. I came on. I came late. I have one for this too. I could use one for another too, but no, I'm good. It's easy. Don't matter to me. Oh, thank you. Damn belt that won't drop. S A E. I'm looking for the belt of fucking remembrance. All right. Both of these drops the same on Epic Norm. Is that what he meant? I think so. Well, that was nice. Got another piece of the puzzle. Is that immediately useful? Resistance six. Versus hundred percent, fifty percent fortification, forty vitality. I think I'd have to wear that. Do I have anything else? Let's see. I have the emerald gaze. Which will drop my spell points a bit if I wear. Hello, why aren't you showing? Well, welcome everybody. Hey, back off, dog. 
back off. And I should be wearing these, of course. That's useful, but I think I'll stop there. And I'll go check those other items too. I was hoping to get another piece of the uh, puzzle for this character, and I also got to 28 on here. So, problem is, I did not get a level in the destiny. Why is that? I don't have very many comms on this character, so I'll go for comms. All right, so it looks like I'm going to hop back on the airship, and then we'll go switch to the bard and run at least one thing on the bard. Do inventory management and leveling some other time on those two characters. Those are both mapped to characters, both of them are 28, so I need to switch to something else until I determine what I'm going to do with them for sure. Alright, what is available for my bard to do at the moment? There's a couple things. Including Gop, but I'd have to walk there, I believe, unless I've done that before. Beyond the Rift, which, no, I did that earlier. Titan's running Veil Slayers. Yeah, you know what? I'll just do Veil Slayers for a little bit. Uh, no, that one. We'll do that. I've done quite a bit of Veil Slayers. This character, I believe. It's constructed from the ruins of an ancient giant temple. Hey, welcome to Margu. Mm, I will go ahead and put my other boots on. I also need to look at this character's gear a bit. See if anybody got the stuff over here yet. Mm, Red exterminator, yay. Well, extra XP is XP. Considering I gained almost a full level on just uh, dice rolls with this character. I think I gained four out of five ranks and most of a fifth with just rolls. But then I wasn't VIP anymore and the rolls were a lot smaller. So I finally went back to leveling the other way. I was trying to do it as a amusement. Kind of thing. 
I also need to do the explorers in here at some point. Yeah, something to kill. Finally. I'm going up to the treehouse and killing everything. Mm -hmm. I see that. Outside the twilight Hey, that, I didn't have that one yet. Oh, if I could see through the cover to get to the chest, that'd be awesome. Ooh, the money lily bubble. Isn't that a uh, shroud gear thing? Yeah, I don't know this area well at all, so I'm just sort of wandering aimlessly. We got dungeon alert. Let's see that part of the trees somewhere. Where do you get up there? I don't remember. Just means we're making friends fast. Over here, isn't it? Nope. Yep. Okay, almost is clear.
I lagged right through him. That was fun. And all, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Not doing anything in particular, just sort of hanging out, trying to get a little bit of XP. I'm almost to the next level. I, will. I think I'll get my uh, 400 Slayers and then stop for the night. Hmm, negative levels, that's not fun. You suck for doing negative levels. I don't like you. Whoa, what the heck? Hmm. So at some point they're actually going to finish me off. There they go. Not sure what hit me, but that was not fun. We will head out there again. Well, my 400 kills, darn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got blindsided by something. Uh, what hit me? What hit me? Oh, can't tell. Too much scroll. It's too bad. I was kind of curious. Yeah, the problem is I've been playing my fighter most of the night, and then I get over here on my bard, and it's not quite the same thing. Gotta be a lot more careful. Much more squishy. And even on my sorcerer, I mean, I can at least deal more damage. This has neither the damage dealing nor the mitigation. I need to spend some time gearing this character a little better. Oh, excuse me. Got my 1500 kills. That's more like what I should be doing. Get their attention, use a couple sonics at them, finish them off with the melee. Don't charge him with melee first. That is where I went wrong. It's 
lag going on. Fun jump lag. Looks like that's been cleared up. Looks like I have time to reset. I am perfectly fine with, although there's a couple mobs up here we could do. And actually, that's all I need is a couple more, so... I'm going to engage these very dangerous rats. And there's my 400. And that's enough to level. Well, i got levels on all three characters to play tonight, that's nice. We're we'll still five mobs to kill, so it's not quite reset time, but I wonder if they're in the far reaches where it's better just reset. Maybe. Maybe not. Did I seriously just do two blur instead of displacement? I think I might have. I rarely do slayers for like continuous leveling purposes. I just pop in when I need just that little bit of extra, usually. That's when I pop into slayers. You're just close, but you aren't quite at that level. still find stuff to kill. I don't know where. There's something up there. There's a couple lonely guys here and there. Oh, look, there's a group. Hmm. Nope. Oh, well, what's the first thing to happen? I just die again. The Orthon hasn't joined. They're usually pretty uh, wide ranging. I never tumble. Just like I never block. Just not how I play. I'm used to playing a two-handed fighter. So I normally just wait in and don't worry about any of that stuff. Yep. I'm not a fan of jump casting either. 
Yeah, I'm just used to waiting in and dealing with damage. Not this uh, other stuff. Or if I'm playing my sorcerer, I just sit back and lob stuff. I don't play this weird middle ground with a shield and stuff, where blocking and tumbling would actually do something for me. At least I have the block button mapped, finally. For the longest time it wasn't even mapped to anything. This is really my bank character and my crafter. I don't really play it very often. That's why I've got all these tabs full of stuff. And why I have my crafting here up to okay levels. Spider swarm's gotten. But you can see my gear's crap. I mean, I've still got these uh, level 5 boots on at level 17. So, it's more of a storage character and Hagglebot kind of thing. I'm pretty sure I'm going to respec and re-gear it, but it might just hit a cap, so there's really no need to worry about gear that much until I'm up there. Unless there's something interesting that drops that it's worth dealing with. I agree. So I think that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, glad we could provide some entertainment to people. Hey, um, more. I've been streaming for uh, five hours now. So I think it's about time for me to stop for the night. Again, thanks all for watching. Let me go over again the uh, schedule here on DDO Stream. You've been watching Minion Monday, or not, sorry, you've been watching Twitchy Tuesday with Seymourgo. Starts at 5 p.m. Eastern, which is roughly five hours ago here on Thelanus. Um, Sundays at 5 p.m. Eastern, we've got uh, Titan on Thelanus. He was in the party just now. Minion Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern is now with Dags. Uh, Blue Queen's on break. But Dags is hosting Minion Monday at probably the normal time. Um, with the U.S. time change and most of them being in Europe, uh, that's up in the air, last I heard. But sometime between 4 and 5, they'll be starting. Uh, this week it was 4.30, because the time change just happened. Uh, Damsel DDO on Wednesday mornings at 2 a.m. Eastern. Um, that is a couple hours from now. Um, every three out of four weeks, I don't remember if this is the third or fourth week. I don't remember if they're on or off. Um, but that's certainly uh, one of our regular shows here. And then the weekly Monday, Wednesday lunchtime live stream with Cordovan is at noon. The Fling is at 1.30 on Wednesdays. And then Friday, Titan at noon. Uh, if you do want to stream on DDO Stream, get in touch with Cordovan on the forums um, or on social media or wherever. Um, he is still looking for more people to stream on this channel. And as always, we appreciate you following DDO Stream. 
here on Twitch, on YouTube, and all of us on the stream team appreciate you following our personal channels on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and wherever else you may find us. Here is my information as an example. And I uh, hope you are really entertained and look forward to seeing you next week. If not before, I should be streaming my own channel some other times. Uh, no regular days, but uh, usually a couple days a week I'll be streaming uh, DDO and sometimes other stuff as well. Mostly it's been from the PS4 if it's not DDO, but, you know, things vary depending on what I feel like. And again, thanks a lot and talk to you next time.